I'm Mark Squibb, Chairman of the Whole Health Research Alliance. This presentation talks about the history and use of pulsed electromagnetic fields, or PEMF, as a means of catalyzing cellular metabolic processes. Very mature references suggest that Nikola Tesla first observed the effects of electromagnetic fields on cells. Tesla is best known for his plasma energy work starting around the turn of the century. Tesla observed that cells respond favorably to energy. The original Tesla therapy devices were called pulsed diathermy devices. They were in common use in hospitals until the 1950s. They were dramatically successful, as are their modern-day successors, in treating a wide range of conditions. The original successor to Tesla devices is called a Papimi. PEMF was redeveloped by Dr. Panos Papas from Greece in the mid-1970s. Dr. Pappas was working at AT&T on a high-energy physics project involving high-energy plasma discharges when his working partner mysteriously recovered from a malignancy. Follow-up investigation resulted in the rediscovery of what Tesla discovered about 90 years earlier. Pulse magnetic fields are biologically beneficial. In about 2003, the U.S. distributor for Papimi mismanaged importation and clinical trials, resulting in severe import and clinical use prohibition for this excellent therapeutic device. These events undeservedly damaged the reputation and availability for Papimi devices in North America. The Papimi merits an impeccable ongoing and worldwide reputation of clinical success in a wide range of often serious health conditions.